Hi everybody, CJ here. Thank you so much for joining us on our brand new show, Gamer Geek. This is the first time we've done a video only show, and I kind of want to see how it goes. In this show, we take one game in particular and go really in depth with it, teach you guys how to play it and how to have fun with it. This week around, we go into Why Shorts, which is a collectible card game from Bushy Road. I get a little bit more into the game in the video, but I wanted to stop by first and thank you all for giving this show a chance. Uh, now, this being episode one, there was a little bit of audio hiccups at the beginning of the episode, but we got those away pretty quickly. Uh, you guys shouldn't notice us for more than a couple of minutes, so stick with us. Everything is fixed uh, as soon as humanly possible. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, send them over to me, geekioshow at gmail.com. You are listening to a podcast of the Geek.io Media Network. For all of our shows and more, visit geek-io.net. And to help support the network, head over to patreon.com slash geek.io. Hello, Hello and, and welcome, welcome friends, friends, to, to the very, very first episode of, of the Gamer, the Gamer Geek Geeks Geeks Video, Video Podcast. Podcast. I am, I am your, your host, host, CJ Bowden, joining, joining me this time, this time around. around. Is, is the, the one, one, the only, the only con himself, himself, Matt Rumbold. Hello, hello, sir. Hi, hi. How are you? How are you? I'm grumpy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's because I'm teaching, teaching a new old dog, dog, dog tricks. tricks. He doesn't, he doesn't like it. Like it. Uh, uh, today, today we are, we are going, going to play. play well, first, first of all, first of all explain, explain the premise of the show. This is a bit. This is a newer show. A bit different than we've done on the Geek IO Network for this. For this, this is we're going to be focusing on a single game each week. Uh, the, uh, the first time, time around, around that we play, play a game, game we'll, we'll have, have instruction, it'll be a little bit slower. Um, um, this week we're playing Weiss Schwartz, 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 Schwartz Collect Collect Card Game from, from Bushy, Bushy Road, Road Entertainment. Entertainment. Uh, it's a uh, Japanese, Japanese card, card game where, where your, your favorite anime is battle, you battle with, each with each other over, over wipers. wipers. Uh, these guys also make uh, card, card Fight Vanguard um, and the new game that just came out, uh, Luck and Logic and also Buddy Fight. Um, of which we'll inevitably cover on the show, but this week we're just doing wise shorts. Um, I am playing Disgaea, which is their newest American set, and Matt is playing uh, Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. Uh, the point of this game is to get your opponent to level four first. Um, you do this through summoning characters and crashing them against your opponent's characters and trying to um, basically just kind of power them up to the point where they can't sustain themselves anymore. Uh, that's a fancy way of saying just beat them until they die. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is, uh, for those who are coming to this uh, from a world of magic, it's a lot different than magic. First of all, you don't have any life point totals. Uh, all of your stuff is done through your cards, and there's a lot more text on the cards to deal with. Uh, Matt's played this a couple of times. I've been playing now for a little over, or almost a year now. Um, so we're still going to have some questions. We're going to play this a little bit slower. I'm going to do, we're all going to read the cards, what they do, who they are, and we're just going to kind of go through there and uh, see how this goes from there. So, I'm going to make a catchphrase for this one, which is an old Warcraft 3 catchphrase. Matt, good luck, have fun, don't die. <laughs> zug, zug. <laughs> it's traditional to let your opponent offer to cut your deck. <clears throat> I was really uh, thinking he was going to at least cut it three times. No, I'm not that. I'm not that big of a douchebag. All right, um, and the uh, of course the rock paper scissors dice. Paper paper. Rock paper. Matt can choose to go first or let me go first. I'll go first. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Draw five cards. First thing you do is look at your hand to see if there's anything in there that you don't want. On your first turn, you really don't want one, uh, threes and uh, twos and threes. Um, you can then put them into your waiting room or your graveyard, and then um, draw that many cards. I'm not going to get rid of any. I'm getting rid of one. All right. All right. 
First turn, you draw a card. Da, da, da. Now you can choose to put a card into your clock zone. Uh, clock zone is your experience level. Um, if you choose to do that on your turn, you can draw two more cards. I am going to put one in my clock. All right. One, two. Okay. Now, uh, something you'll have to remember on since you're doing first turn, uh, you can still lay as many characters as you want to on your field. You can have up to five in your field, three in the front row, two in the back, but you can only attack with one of them this turn. We are going to, on our backstage, we're going to trace on. During your turn, your other characters in the middle position of the center stage gets 1,000 power. Action, brainstorm. Two of your, when you tap, two of your characters reveal four cards from the top of your deck and put them into your waiting room. For each climax revealed, search your deck for up to one character with Shiru or... Saber. Saber, Ren. Saber. Saber or Ren and its card name. Reveal it to your opponent, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. Yes. So that's a long way of saying basically once you start getting stock, you can pay him, you can pay that power, reveal the top four, and then search if you get any climaxes out of it. You won't always get them. <laughs> okay. All right, we're going with Petite Saber. At the center stage, when this card attacks, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is a character with Shiro Ren or Saber. Shiro, Shiro Ren and Saber. In its card name, the card gets plus one soul until the end of turn. Okay. So flip. Yep. And. We are going to go as a mage, Ren. Red zero card. Mm -hmm. When the card is placed on the stage from your hand, look at the top card of your deck and put it on the top of your deck or into your waiting room. Basically, this is a nice combination, what you just did. Mm -hmm. Because when she comes into play, you're going to look at the top card of your deck. Okay. If it's a climax, you can put it into your waiting room because her power is not going to activate on it. Mm -hmm. If it's a character, just put it right back where it's where it is. Okay. It's a character. All right, so you put it back because when you attack with her, her power is going to activate. Right. Which means you mill one. If it's a character, she gets an extra soul. Right. And, and remember, you can only attack with one. You can on only attack turn. with one. So probably her. Yep. So flip. Attack with her and now activate her power. That is? Reveal the top card of your deck. It's a character. It's a character. So she gets plus one soul. Plus um, one soul. And that goes back to your its original place. Okay. But then you are going to all right. What so she now gets an additional soul, so that makes her two soul. Two soul. Plus one for doing a direct Three. attack. Plus four. All right, so that is four total. And this one goes into your clock stock. Stock. One, two, three, four, six. If you hit a climax card when you're getting dealt damage, the damage is immediately canceled. That's right. Which goes to your waiting room. All right, there's no end phase magic players, so everything gets cleaned up, resolved, and we go into my turn. All right, um, do you have any climax cards in your graveyard? In my graveyard? Yeah. No. No? All right, uh, I'm going to play a Suka Crane Kicker. If your opponent doesn't have any climax cards in the waiting room, this card gets plus one soul, 2,500 attack power. Uh, I'm going to then play Master of the Forbidden Chamber, Desko. During your opponent's turn, this card gets plus 1,000 power. It's a 2,500 as well. And I'm going to play Big Sis Fuka. Uh, assist. Uh, all of your characters in front of this card get plus 500 power. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand, choose one of your clone characters, which is Desko. And 
that character gets plus one level and plus 500 power until end of turn. So I'm going to attack with Crane Kicker, which is one, two because of her power, three because it's a direct attack, reveal, four. Four, and it sticks. All right. All right, I'm going to frontal attack here for a truck ton. Um, for two, just two. Or no, one, sorry. This one gets flipped? Yep, she gets reversed because her damage is, her power is less than my attack. So just, just one? Just one? Yep. Wow. And phase, all reverse cards go to waiting room. Alright, pass turn. Alright. Draw a card. Mm -hmm. I am going to go ahead and put myself up. Alright. Clock to level. So yep, you choose what you choose your uh, level first. And then you draw your two cards. And the rest of those in your clock go to your waiting room. Alright, now you are level 1, experience 0. I am level 0, experience 4. Experience is, that it is your clock number. Hmm. I can't move her. That, she's there. You can move her. You can move her wherever. She is 3,000. 3,000. Yeah. She is 4,000 on your turn. 4,000? Yeah. She's 4,000? 3,000, 4,000. All right, uh, read the powers. This one is our center stage. Encore, put the top card of your deck into your clock. Encore is an ability that when she's reversed, mm -hmm. at the end of your turn, when she would go into your waiting room, mm -hmm. you can pay that cost to just have her. Okay. To rest her and she stays alive. And auto resonate. Reveal card name, heroic spirit saber in your hand, the beginning of your climax phase. You may pay the cost if you do. This card gets a plus one soul until end of turn. Yeah, if you have that specific card in your hand at the beginning of your climax phase, you show it to me, and that power triggers. All right, center stage on my right. Kant, if the number of other masters or servant characters you have in three or more, this card gets 1,500 power. Yep. And this card cannot become reversed if your opponent character's auto effects. Yes. Okay. So, and I have three. Three, three yes. So, plus 1,500. Mm -hmm. We're going to, oh, am I going to do anything else? Can I climax? You can. Okay. Yeah. We lay down Excalibur. All right. What does Excalibur do? Excalibur. All of your characters get plus 1,000 power and one soul. Yes. So. Yeah, you're will... going to be over my puny little penis. All right. Well, we will go with the easy one. All right. So we'll hit there. So that's that's zero soul though. No, it's one soul. One soul. Remember, it's the number that's down here, or the number of symbols that's down there. What symbols? There's a little symbol like right in there, right next to the power. Oh, okay, I got you. All right, one, two, three souls. All right, then you do your trigger check. <gasps> three souls. All right, that goes into your stock. Mm. One, two. Three sticks to level. I'm going to level yellow. All right. All right. So I'm going to hit here. Now, what's her attack power now? Six. Six thousand. Okay. All right. So six thousand. It's one, two. Mm -hmm. I'm trigger check. Plus, I get another thousand. Yeah. So. I don't think it makes a difference. Yeah, it's not going to. Uh, and then trigger. Nothing. 
So, so two? Two soul. Cancels. I hit a climax, so it cancels all that damage because of the waiting room. And then we are going to hit that one. Below. All, right. all right, so what's her power? Um, what's her attack? Her attack's 4,000, but she gets another 1,000 here, 5,000. So five. Hold on. 25, 3. Okay, so she's 5. Yeah. All right, I'm going to pay 1, and I'm going to play a backup card. Uh, basically, she gets 2,500 extra power. Which would put her at 5? 5? 5,500. Oh, so what happens? So I still take the soul damage, but uh -huh. she gets reversed. Yours gets reversed. Doggone it. So that gets reversed. I still take the soul damage, though. So, that so is that's 1, 2. And then trigger check. Nothing. All right, that goes to your stock. All right, both those hit. All right, and turn. And this one goes to stock too, right? Yep, no, it goes to your waiting room, sorry. Okay. Yeah, crud. I just wasted a backup. <laughs> <coughs> I'm gonna clock a climax to draw two. I'm going to... I'm going to pay, play Sexy Demon Wish Han uh, Hanako. Uh, brainstorm her power. is She has 2,000 attack power. Her power is I can pay one, reveal the top four cards of your deck, and put them into your waiting room. For each climax revealed, choose one of, those choose one of your characters, and that gets plus one soul until end of turn. I'm going to pay one and do the brainstorm. So one, two, three, four. I hit one. I'm going to give effect to her so she gets an additional soul. I am then going to move her back into my back row. <laughs> I'm going to attack for one, two, three for a direct attack. Trigger check. Reveals one, so four. One, two. All right, no trigger, no climax. That goes to the clock. All right, at the end of my turn, I am level one experience three, and that is level one experience four, and past turn. All right. Pay one. This mm -hmm. goes in over here, right? Yep. All right. Got the same one. All right. Encore. Put the top card on, of your deck into your clock. When this card is put into your uh, waiting room from the stage, you may pay the cost. If you do, return this card to previous stage position as tapped. Resonate. Heroic Spirit Saber in your hand. The beginning of your climax phase, you may pay the cost. If you do, this card gets plus one soul until end of turn. All right, and we will climax. Unlimited blade works. All of your characters get one thousand power and one soul. All right. So we are going to do this by the numbers. So an extra thousand, twenty-five hundred. That doesn't make a difference. And an extra soul. So that's two. Yep. Plus a direct bonus for one, so that is three. Three. And top to reveal. Four. Four and a blowback. You can choose to blow back any of my characters to my hand. I would suggest her because yeah. then you get another direct attack. Let's blow back. All right, so that is four. This goes away. Anyway. No, that goes to your stock. Oh, that's right. All right, I hit a climax on my second card, so cancel. All right. All right. And then, then we still have plus one soul, plus one thousand. We have plus 1,000 for the center card, and so that's 8,000. That doesn't make a difference, but one. That will get an extra soul. One, two. And then a direct bonus, so three. So three, and four. All right, and the, what that is, it's called cancel bullet. If I cancel, I take another damage that can be canceled. So go ahead and tap her. Okay. One two it does cancel so reveal 
hits. Okay. All right. And we will hit it again. Okay. Flip. One, two, there's four. Three. Three. And then reveal. Four. Four. All right. One, two, three, S cancels on four. All right, and a turn, uh, Clan X goes to the waiting room. And then nothing died, so my turn. Draw. Clock. Um, I'm going to play Crane Kicker. What's uh, Rin's power? Attack? 1500. 15? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, move her there. Move her over here. I'm going to frontal here for one, just one. Okay. So your ring gets reversed because she's 3,000 attack power. Mm -hmm. And then you take one soul damage. And then she gets canceled. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to, she's a level one, right? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to side here for zero. Uh, nothing. Okay. So nothing gets reversed. Or she gets reversed, so she goes to the waiting room. Nope. No. I sided. Oh. She's Good. reversed, though, so she Rin goes to the waiting room. Gotcha. And then that ends my turn. Okay. And I draw a card. Mm hmm oh. Well, I'll go ahead and get two more cards. I bring a climax. Okay. <laughs> We're just kind of beefing up all three of them. All right. All right. Same card. Resolution to fight together. Saber. Okay. Boom. So she costs one to play, right? Yep. All right. So okay, one out of your stock. And no climax bonuses. All right. And we're just going to go flip. All right. Hit that one. Okay. So one plus trigger check. Yep. One, so two. Two. And if it's canceled, cancel bullet. If not canceled, so two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Level. Blue level. All right. That one. All right. 6,000. Well, plus the yeah, 1,000 power. Yeah. So it's like it makes a difference. Yeah. 7,000. One, two. Oh, just one. Just one. Yep. And then trigger check. Nothing. All right, so just one. This still goes. This goes in the stock. Yes. Okay. All right, that sticks. Okay. And one, two. Mm-hmm. And then trigger check. Nothing. All right, so that goes to stock, and I take two. Sticks. All right. And the turn draw. going to then clock draw two all right I am going to play overthrow god of all overlords 
choose up to five cards in your waiting room, except for the climax cards, and return them to your deck. Shuffle your deck afterwards. If you return five cards, oh, I'm not going to play him yet. <laughs> I'm going to play two. I'm going to play two and play Overlord Mao. He is a 5,500 attack power, level two, two soul. Uh, this card gets plus one soul for each card in your hand. And I could pay two when this card attacks. If a card named To My Lab is in your climax area, you may pay the cost. If you do, choose one of your opponent's level two or lower characters and put that into their stock. I'm going to then pay one, two, uh, huh. All right, hold on. <laughs> I have two options here. Uh, that's going to be my stronger of the two. All right, I'm going to pay one to play Legendary Chief Graduate Barrel. Uh, when this card is placed in the stage from your hand, if the number of cards in your deck is five or less, return all cards from your waiting room to your deck. If you do, shuffle your deck, and all your characters get plus one soul until end of turn. So I get to, it's what's called refreshing for free. Or okay. Refreshing. So I do the refresh, but I don't take any damage. And all of my characters get plus one soul. Okay. What are your uh, Saber's attack powers? 6,000. 6,000? Okay. Alright, would you like to cut? There you go. Alright. Alright, I'm going to then move her up to my front row, big sis Fuka up to the front row, and I'm going to play to my lab for my climax. All of my characters get plus two soul. That's a lot of soul bonuses. Yes, it is. This is what's called a soul rush deck. <laughs> so I'm going to side here for one because of her bonus, two, three from the climax. Trigger check reveals one, so four. One, two, three, four. Good lord. All right. One, two. Might as well put a red card in for now. Yep. If you can. I can. And these go in the waiting room. Yes, sir. All right. All right. So I'm going to frontal here because she's going to be bigger for one, two, three, four. Trigger track reveals one, so five. Okay. One, two, three, four. Really? Oh, God. Ah. That sucks. And this is going to suck even worse. Two, three, four. That's level. That's level. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to announce attack. Pay two. Return her to your hand. Return who to my hand? This one. Yep. This one goes to my hand. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to direct attack here with Overlord Mal for one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Trigger check reveals zero, so nine. Jeez. Two, three, four. Ha! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Sheesh. All right, that's the end of my turn. Your reverse character goes to your waiting room. My climax goes to my waiting room. Pass turn. All right. 
I'm gonna draw a card. Yep. Now I'm officially empty. Yes. So that means you take you reshuffle your waiting room, and that becomes your deck, and you take one refresh damage. Where do I take the damage from again? Top of your deck after it's done shuffling. Okay. That was an accidental three contact. Uh, that's fine. <laughs> and flip. All right. Really sucks when that one's a climax, by the way. Yes. Because <laughs> there's nothing that can be done about it. Might as well come out swinging. You might as well. All right, three cost. This card is this is uh, unlimited blade work Shiro. When this card is placed on the stage from your hand or by a change effect, draw up to one card, and that card gets two thousand power until the end of turn. And this card gets one thousand two thousand power. So draw a card, and he's eleven thousand five hundred until end of turn. Well, twelve thousand five hundred okay. until end of turn. I drew a card. Yes. And we're going serious assault shooter. When this card attacks, if a card name row AS is in your climax area, you may pay the cost if you do. Put X cards from the top of your deck underneath this card as a marker. And this card gets 1500 power until end of turn X is equal to the number of weapon or jewel characters you have. 8,000. Alright. Now. I would love a climax card right now. Let me see, do I have any support? Not really. Okay. We are going to hit you. All right. She's teeny tiny. Yeah, she's teeny tiny. Bam. All right. That, so that goes away. That reverses her. So that's one soul damage. Trigger one, check. One soul. Trigger check. <laughs> Nothing. So just one. Sticks. Oh, wait a minute. Did I ever pay for that? I don't think I did. No, you paid her last turn. You paid for him. Oh, did I? Yeah. Okay. All right. And he's going to be much bigger than her, so. Yeah. Flip. Two. Yep. Two plus trigger check. So just two. Two. Sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's level. A little yellow. All right. And that's going to beat him. Yep. At 8,000. Yep. Plus... One, two. Two? Mm -hmm. All right, one, two sticks. All right. Whew. Draw a card. Clock a card. I'm going to do overthrow King of All Overlords again. I didn't do that last time. I'm going to do that this time. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to return Mao. 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 <laughs> oh, good lord. Free fresh barrel. And early play through good to my deck. And, oh, wait. I have to play character first. I'm going to play character first. Not really. Not like it's really going to matter. Actually, yeah, I'm going to take that back. <laughs> I'm not going to do that yet. One, two, three, four, five. Thankfully, I didn't start shuffling. So those go back into there. Mm -hmm. All right. So first things the first. I'm going to play her, which is Bond to Overlord Mal. I, did, I pay one and discard one, and I could search for an Overlord Mal out of my waiting room and put it into my hand. 
And now, I'm going to do overthrow, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, one. No, not her. She sucks. <laughs> one, two, three, four. For sure, for sure, for six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Cut. Come here. All right. Teeny tiny barrel here gets plus five thousand and plus two soul until end of turn. I am then going to move her. She is six. Mm -hmm. All right, so she's going to be higher. I'm going to then play this uh, Master of the Forbidden Chamber Desco during your opponent's turn. Gets plus 1,000 power, 2,500 power base there. Um, you know what? I'm going to go for Broke because one way or another, this is going to be the last turn. To the lab! Plus two soul until on a turn. Okay. So I'm going to frontal here. Barrel versus Saber. Barrel's going to win. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six soul. One, two, three, four. Come on. Dang. <laughs> Canceled at five. That's right. I'm going to side here. No, I'm going to just crash here for one, two, three. Trigger track reveals one. So four. Cancel on one. All right. Pass turn. All right. Wait a minute. The only one I lost was this one. Yes. Okay. I sided with the other one. Okay. This one goes here. Yes, sir. All right. <laughs> Draw a card. At the end of my turn, I am at level three experience three. Matt is at level three experience one. Matt only needs to hit me for four soul this turn in order to win. But I have a pretty low waiting room that has one, two climaxes in it. So I have a pretty strong chance to cancel damage. Oh, I could use that here. This is Style of Knight Saber. Your other character in the middle position of the center stage gets the following ability. Caught. This card cannot be chosen by your opponent's effects. Put this top card on your deck in your clock and tap this card. Search your deck for up to one character with Shiro Ren or Saber. Shiro Samuel or Ren. And it's card name, reveal it in your opponent, and put it in your hand. Shuffle your deck afterwards. Yeah. Oh. Um, so basically, and that's pretty good against my deck because I have stuff that can just send your stuff to the waiting room. Mm -hmm. He can't be chosen by that anymore. Right. Which is who I would choose. So. <laughs> <laughs> and Serious Assault Shearer. Uh, when this card is attacked, uh, card we've done this. Uh, yeah, you, we have got it right there. Yeah, so, boom. It's the same one that we read last turn. All right. big deal, but he does cost a thing to play. He does. So you pay a stock. One. Yep. And then boom. <coughs> That's it. Yep. All right. That's going to go away. Yes. Bye, barrel. And one. Yep. One soul. Trigger check. <gasps> well, nothing. So just one. Sticks. Level three experience four. Okay. And that's two soul. Three soul. Mm -hmm. No soul. So three soul. Right, so three soul. This could be the game. One cancels on two. Damn it. All right. Mm -hmm. And this is one soul, two soul, no soul. So two, one, if two sticks, I am at three, six. Going into my turn, I am at 
After all. It could go either way, folks. It could go either way. Pay two. Bring out my good friend Overlord Mel. Alright, uh you're at three one. One two. Yeah, I can't win this turn. Oh I could. Let's give it a try. To the lab! Alright. So plus two soul for all of my characters, which is a whole whopping overlord now. So uh, I'm gonna three. side here for one. Two, three, four, because he gets one for each one in my hand. Yeah. Trigger check reveals nothing, so four. One, two, three. Ha ha. Cancel. <laughs> All right. At the end of the turn, I'm still at three, six. Matt is at three, one. And draw a card. All right. Okay. I'm um, not going to do nothing. Oh, I'm going to attack. Yeah, you're going to attack. So, I'm going to hit your Mal guy. All right. And that's one. I can pretty much crush him. Yeah, he's, he's done. He one doesn't have and much. nothing. So just one. Just this can be the game. If it sticks, it sticks. Boom! Matt wins. Why Schwartz? This deck is a glass cannon, basically. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're going to do some wind down here now. We actually had a successful recording of the Nymphos Rock. Right. Um, so of the three games, now that I kind of had a sidebar with you before this one, did you enjoy this this game a little bit better than your last two? I did. Okay. Um, before um, Matt was trying to keep up with me with, with my play style, and obviously, with the learning curve there, it's not really feasible to do that. So once I sat back, and I'm like, hey, just calm down a little bit and read the cards. Um, it it flows a lot better. And plus, this being your third, turn, third time playing, you do tend to... Obviously, the more you play, the more you're going to get... Um, just put those in front of the camera. Just face up in front of the camera so they can see them. So we have good. Yeah. Effect. Indeed. Uh, I'm going to put... My level three, two of them, top two there. Um, because, well, we can. So, yeah, what, what did you think of what did you think of the game? That's still pretty highly complex. Um, it's not bad. It took me three times to get used to it. Am I going to divulge myself and jump into it? Nah, but I'll play it again. That's fair. I mean, we, do, <laughs> I mean, we do the weekly Weiss tournaments at Serenity Games. So, I mean, instead of just yeah. sitting around doing nothing, you can play with us at least. Well, at least I can watch them. Yeah. Idea of what's going on. Exactly. Instead of just sitting in the corner sulking and talking on your phone. I didn't um, <laughs> so yeah, and just let us know what you guys think of this. We're gonna do more games. I think the next game we're gonna do uh, is probably Smash Up uh, because I really want to play Smash Up, and I got the whole box of it. Um, uh, we're gonna rotate back through the games. If you have any games that you want us to play, shoot us an email, geekioshow@gmail.com, uh, with gamer geeks in the subject title. Or subject line. Uh, if you want us to play more Wise Schwartz, go ahead. Uh, we're going to have more people on, uh, rotating cast. Pretty much I'm going to be the only person that is uh, of any kind of static uh, placement on the show. Um, but yeah, we'll come back. I like I said, I think the next game will be uh, Smash Up, which I've never played more than just once, so it'll be fascinating. Uh, maybe Sentinels of the Multiverse after that. Um, We'll kind of just go swing by by ear, but uh, as we get more of a cohesive schedule down, it will be posted up on the Gamer Geeks site at geek-io.net slash Gamer Geeks. Uh, on that note, folks, I'm CJ Boat. Good game, Matt. Thank you. Good game, CJ. This has been a podcast of the Geek.io Media Network, where you put your geek in and geek out. For more geeky goodness, head over to geek-io.net, copyright 2016.